that's the note we're going to be adding to our playing, okay? Okay. You can hear right away. Huh. It's a different sound. Now I'm going to add the barbecue sauce. Man, you can hear right away. Hey friend, how's it going? Thomas Decker here from GuitarRevolution.ca. I'm here because I want to help you to get to the next level of your guitar, becoming a guitarist that has confidence, play your guitar with clarity, bringing you to the next level of your musicality. And we are on our BBS or Basic Blues series that it, this is exa doing exactly that, getting you to the next level of your rhythm section or rhythm playing and soloing. This is video six. If you ha haven't seen the other ones, it's very beneficial for you to go ahead and watch from one all the way to the, to the last one so you can actually have a, a feel of how the progression is going okay so i want to encourage you to do that um, if you want to skip all that if you want to go fast pace fast track click the link below and go ahead and watch my workshop that i put together for you it's called the five simple steps that transform that will transform your guitar playing your soloing over the blues actually using the tools that you already have the knowledge that you already know to go to the next level okay go ahead click that uh, link below or go to guitarrevolution.ca forward slash five steps and watch that workshop i put together free completely free it's about an hour long so separate time for that no distractions or just go ahead and watch from video one here with me and let's gradually get you there to the next level okay step by step step by step very very slowly but very steady slow and steady right now on this video here we're gonna as i promised we're gonna get your soloing that we've been working so far using pentatonic uh, scale the second shape or the fourth shape the right? second option of of shape the blues notes in those two and right now we're gonna not spice things up we're gonna make things a little bit more like sweet i mentioned that barbecue sauce on top of that seasoned um uh, rib right baby back rib so good man oh one ribs now you're gonna do that after recording this i'm gonna have myself some ribs ah oh, i love it this this note we're gonna add to our pentatonic will give that different flavor to your soloing very very simple very very simple on the theory uh on the practice of it it's not as simple but it's not not rocket science okay if you understand what i'm saying here pay attention so you can absorb this understanding and that will bring a, a clarity for your playing like it's like turning like a light bulb and giving you more options it, it, it's amazing the sound of this so far we're playing the chords they're all major with the seventh dominant chords right and we're using the pentatonic scale adding the blues notes Right? So the pentatonic scale, the blues notes like the season, like the flavor, blues season to your playing. Now, think about this with me. We're playing the major chord, dominant, and the pentatonic is minor. You're using this note here on the scale, and 
this note here on the chord. In classical music, the, the two don't go together, okay? This, uh, this is the, the chord, so this should be the note on your scale. On blues, we kick that roll to the curb. And we decide, okay, no, we're gonna do the minor. Right? And the chord's like a major. Now, we're gonna change that a little bit. We're gonna use that note also on our soloing. So, that's the note we're gonna be adding to our playing, okay? Okay. You can hear right away. Huh. It's a different sound. It sounds a little bit more like open, right? Just a little sweet barbecue sauce on top of the ribs, like I said. So, let me go slower here. The note will show up on the G string exactly where we have the blues note. And this is pretty much the movement that we're gonna do to play that note. Like from the minor, because the minor, I say the minor, this is what makes the chord minor, to the major. Right? This is the third, minor third to the major third. So if I have A, what's this? It's a minor. You see, it's sad. It's like gloomy day. It's like here today in Vancouver. My goodness, it's raining again. But I know in California, ha! Oh, San Diego, I'll live there one day. I promise I'll move there. I will. Or Florida. San Diego or Florida. California or Florida. I, I'm not. I'm done with the rain. I want the sunshine. But I'm still in the rain. But I'm going to the sunshine, maybe. Let's add that to your playing. Kind of this movement. That will show up also on the E string. Two minor ones. You can slide to the major. Or just play the major too. Right? See, I'm using the pinky. Just going to the next fret. Blues, backing track. Let's put into practice. I'm gonna start right here on the G and D string, okay? Okay. Just a pentatonic. Just pentatonic. note now to our playing. You see the difference already? Just focusing on the D and G string. And this on the B. I'm gonna add the barbecue sauce. <laughs> oh man, you can hear right away. Always coming from the minor to the major. on the E string. Sounds good too. So good, eh? 
you don't even need a backing track no more because already like sounding so rich that you can play even without a backing track sounds good already awesome isn't it i love when we throw that major oh man ah that's the i don't know it's just delicious so juicy love it i hope you're you're having more like understanding clarity of how like in the simple very simple steps uh, that's why my back my workshops called the five simple steps All right. clarity coming up that's why uh, how these five simple steps are so amazing to transform your playing over the blues right go ahead click click the link below watch the whole thing and come back and watch the other things too because I'm gonna give you more more and more next lesson on the next video we're gonna see how that is applied on the E uh, E no A over the 12th fret okay the fourth shape all right subscribe to the channel leave your review thumbs up leave a comment let me know how else I can help you see you in the next video bye